Good afternoon and welcome here to what is finally a sunny Costa del Sol in lovely Almanacar, Spain. Here for the CD Almanacar Under 23s clash against the Celtic Club de Football, just from up north in Granada, about an hour up the road. They made the short journey down here. For Getting ready to take the field now. As soon as we give you the chance and get the opportunity, we will flash that line lineup graphic up for you. So not too sure if you've got the sound properly tuned in yet. If you do, we are working oh. on getting that up for you. So full-scale changes being presented. Teams taking to the field now. We will get that lineup up and ready. Just a bit of the camera adjustments going on as we speak. So a bit of the camera and a bit of the mics being fine-tuned, tested out. We will get that underway. Referee seems to be clearing the pitch now. Both teams' photos are taken. About ready to get underway here. This is a very interesting clash, and it should be an important game. Not should be. It is, frankly, in a very important game for this CDAC under-23 side as if they they do need to win this to keep their promotion hopes alive after a tough loss to third yeah, place Montefrio last weekend. Juan Mobillejos has rang in the changes. Full scale swaps coming on the side. I believe there's six or seven new starters. Only a few have survived what we like to call the purge here. Big changes being made, but underway now. Almanyaka will look to dominate proceedings against a team that's low down in the table, such as the Celtic side. So Amanyaka will really look back to get to playing their ball possession form. You'll see a few new faces, a few familiar faces as well. We'll run through the lineup just as soon as we get the chance. But a rough start there for Lozano, whose pass for Babbage goes out of play. Ch early chance for Celtic to gain some possession in their attacking half. Looks like we've gotten the camera equipment all sorted out. If you can hear me, I'd love you to throw a comment in the YouTube section if you can hear me well. Seems to be having a bit of discrepancy here, but apparently the problem has been reduced to the headphones. So a bit of faulty wiring that happened. That's okay. So it happens when you get some secondhand gear if every now and then the headphones might just not be too, too great. But we seem to have sorted that problem. So the chance for Celtic ultimately leads to what looks like it'll be an Almanjaker throwing down the far side. Yes, it will be. Celtic player can't keep it in field. So long ball up the wing. There's one of the CDAC under 23 debutants today. That's a Delson Jr. So we'll have a bit more on him. But Celtic regain possession in a dangerous area. And the referee is whistled for a foul against Celtic there. Looks like a handball on two occasions by the left back. That's T playing in there today. Looks like a handball on two occasions. But referee saw it the other way. Free kick for Almanyaka. Yeah, sure. Joaquin under pressure turns it over for a Celtic throw-in. As the away side now looks to build into the match. Quickly down the line, strong defensive play there from Joaquin, who's whistled for a foul at the second attempt. 
So Ellie Hicks deputizing brilliantly on camera right now. We've only got the one cam up right now, but Ellie Hicks doing a great job up there. Ellie Brett making the climb back up to the top. Podcast AirPod in ear. Ball swung into the area. Headed clear at the first attempt by T. Further clear to the feet of Adelson. The Brazilian finds himself on the left wing now, wearing that famous number 10. Looks to switch play over to Maldonado. Goes over the head of Jerison, but arrives at the feet of Joaquin. Tries to take his touch inside, intercepted by the number 22. And cleared. Looking for the striker, but will only go as far as the feet of Rafa Munoz on the far side. Keeps possession, plays infield for Bangani. His return ball for Rafa under hit. Chance for Celtics to break now. Babbage quickly out of his center back roll to intercept. Celtic look to go high over the top. Flicked header by Celtic. Chance for them to get in behind. Babbage with work to do. Does well to clear with the left foot. Ultimately wins the throw in with the touch coming off the Celtic attacker. So as soon as we do have a quick break in play, we'll run you through the starting lineup as everything has been sorted out now. So once we get a little break, the director will give me the old signal, flash up the graphic, and we will tell you just exactly who's playing and everyone you need to know. Continue to share that information with you. Got a few comments. Claudia telling me. Claudia, Aaron, and Julie Khan all telling me that the audio is good. So with a good old market research, we've uh, we've been told that the audio is good. So we've managed to figure figure everything out. Thank you all for telling me that it's good. I'm sure you will all be delighted to know that the commentary will be live on this game. We are at pitch side here, so not watching from behind the screen. We're watching the action unfold in front of us. Lovely little switch of play there from Heredia. Joaquin continues forward. Loses out on the 50-50, but a chance to continue pressing high. Ball played into the midfield, but the return pass from Celtic puts the dis le right back immediately under pressure. Joaquin presses high, clearance only as far as Heredia. The Spaniard cuts inside onto the left foot. Can he get the strike away? Defended away only as far as... T plays to Maldonado, runners in the box. Can he pick anyone out? Gets around one, must deliver now, surely. Tries to swing into the area, defend it away. Can Joaquin recollect on the far side? Ultimately out for an Almanyaka throw, and so great spell of possession there for the home side. Really putting the grips against this weaker Celtic side. They don't seem to be the most adept at playing out of the back. And all of a sudden, Almanyaka find themselves on the front foot in the fifth minute. Joaquin now with the throw and looking for Heredia. Quick little one-two played with Joaquin, cuts inside, returns it to Heredia. Can he, he does get the strike away on the left this time. Who flies just wide of the far post, but really promising sides in the opening five minutes for Almanyaka. That shot from Heredia whizzes past the far post. I think we'll see a replay of that, and then as Celtic build up, we may see if we can get that lineup filtered in for you. The nice little one play, the two Spaniards combining well. Heredia find himself inside. Tell you what, that was curling towards that back post. Keeper very confident to let it go by. So Celtic look to go long here. Delson Jr. tries to win it in the middle of the park. Celtic ultimately recollects around the feet of Bongani. Slip ball in behind the number 19 on the far side. Looks to cut in. Grabbed by T, foul whistled in a dangerous area for Celtic. That's a free kick that you can't afford to give away in that position. S really close to goal, could either be a shot or a cross, but a very dangerous free kick coming for the opposition here. We'll have another look at that. Let's see how the referee saw it. Yeah, you can mm. see that right hand fully on the jersey there, then ultimately on the shoulder. Not too much doubt in that for me. Nope. And... Here we go. I'm going to introduce me, Matt Bridal, and our man, the main man, I've missed him, Braden Miller. He's on the mic with us today. Sorry that I've come so late. We were having a couple of problems with the mic, if you probably heard it. We didn't think you could, but you obviously could. So we've got the surprise edition of Mark Bridal on commentary with me today. He'll be doing a bit more of the analysis, a bit more of the color commentary. I'll be taking over most of the play-by-play. -play. And while we have it now, the play-by-play -play is coming with a Celtic free kick. So the familiar green and white hoops. Two players over the ball. It'll be the captain, the number four. He blasts it. Woo! Ooh. Tell you what, looks like it managed to it filter its way through the wall and flew just wide of Smith's far post. Let's see if we can get another look at that. There we go. So we've got the buttons being pressed. Here it is. We'll have that another look. Mark, tell me what you see. That is a good shot. I think, honestly, the wind today is going to play a big part. It was so windy today. We've got to keep hold on monitors, hold on scaffolding all sorts. So we'll see if uh, any of those big shots go in. So as the viewers of the stream this week may have seen, with the dust storm that has come through, this was a sandstorm from the Sahara Desert that blew through here. So it seems like the sand has gone away mostly. 
but the wind has been left, so really blowing at about a gust of 20 miles an hour. We're going from, what's that direction? Let's see if we can get the internal compass out. From that way is east. It looks like it's going east to west. Yeah, east to west. See, facing that way. So an east to west wind. So Amanyaka will be going against the wind in the first half, Celtic with the wind. So important, always important to note that, especially with long balls over the top, such as this one to Maldonado. Just held up enough for him to get on it and drives into the corner. Isolated against two, pushed away. Good strength by the Celtic player. Oh, the camera guys have dropped the water, so we'll get it for him. Looks out for an Amanyaka throw in. Infield for Rafa, 1-2 played. Joaquin looks to play it into the center of the area. Camera people occupied with the plight of the fallen water. Doesn't really follow that cross, but out for a goal kick. And while we have a second now, let's flash up that lineup graphic just so we can tell you exactly who's playing. There it goes. No further doubt. So in goal, of course, we have Will Smith. We'll say a bit of a piece on him later, but finally coming back into the game. Will Smith 2 by the looks of it. We'll change that in a sec. Yeah, we've got Will Smith 1 and 2. So Will Smith 1 on the bench. Will Smith 2 in goal. Joaquin is at right back with a center back partnership of Joe Babbage and Jose Lozano. T fills in at left back. Bongani, Rafa Munoz, and Miguel Heredia make up the midfield three. And the front three consists of Jerson Maldonado, Josh Kahn, and Adelson Jr. So there'll be bits to have on each of those players so far today. And we'll bring them up as they come in. But Mark, what do you make of those initial changes after the 6-1 loss against Montefrio last week? Uh, I think it's a good choice, to be honest. Get some fresh faces, some fresh legs on the pitch. I know those boys will be hungry to get in there, so hopefully they can turn up. Yeah, I can't say I disagree with that. A lot of the times, I'm more of the opinion that consistency sometimes does breed complacency. Mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a level of consistency that you need to have, but you need to keep some of these players fresh. You need to have them have that desire to want to keep going, and especially after a bad result like the one last week on the road against Montefrio, against a promotion rival as well. I think you have to ring in the changes. 100%. So Juan Mabillas, as we like to say, wielded the axe here. Chopped and changed about six to seven players. One of the few people that survived, Josh Kahn. One of the substitutes, Maldonado, has a shot from distance. Asking for a handball. Referee says nothing doing. Falls to Heredia, about 25 yards from goal. Has a shot. Ooh, Flies right quite away over the bar. And Looks out like for a goal it. kick. So what are you looking for this in this Almanyaker side today? What are you looking for their reaction to be? Hopefully just don't concede so many. Uh, try not to concede any, really, but, um, you know, we're going to go for a big win. There's got to be, after a 6-2 loss, you always want to just bounce back with a big win. I could not agree with that anymore. You really want to right the ship quickly here because with so few games left in the season as well, the promotion campaign could always take a hit and things can turn on a dime. So you've got to keep your form as high as you can, even despite the loss. You've got to change it very, very quickly just to keep that pressure on those top teams. Ball stayed in play. Miscommunication there between Smith and Joaquin. Smith ultimately comes out and grabs at the feet of the Spanish right back. Guess it's going quickly underway through Babbage. So, Mark, after about six weeks out, Will Smith has made his triumphant return to the starting 11 for the CDAC under 23 side. What kind of presence does he bring in goal? And what kind of leadership does he bring, having been a veteran of this program for two to three years? He always brings good communication. He's always solid at the bat with uh, his communication to the boys, always giving them good instructions. And he's a top keeper, to be fair. He's a good personality to have. If you're losing the game, he's going to let you know about it. I think uh, he's a good person to be at, to be back. I'm, I'm sure, he's glad to, sure he's glad to be back. It's good to see him. Yeah, so I haven't spoken to Smithy quite a bit this week. He's been training a bit with the first team, mixing in with the sessions, of course, training with the 23s to get some of his match fitness back as well. And dis despite his, um, his broken foot not being completely fully healed, he seems to be back in the fray. He's a competitor, Will. He's an Aussie from all the way down from South Tasmania, so he knows what it means to be a competitor Ooh. and survive out there. He's quickly off his line there to recollect at the second attempt, so right there you see Will Smith. We've got a close-up shot of him now, so go. great camera work, Come great on. production. There is the Aussie back on the pitch. We could not be happier to see him here with us again. Really great guy, and I know he's been suffering. He's been working in the gym, working on the pitch just as much as he can to get back on the field, and he'll be a welcome return for Bujejos. And uh, are you playing today, Braden? We got a game today. Game today, of course. We were going to bring that up a bit later, but similarly, we'll, we'll go on the trend of needing to uh, right the ship after a poor result the week before. Yeah. So the CD Almanyaker seniors, of course, are in action later today at 7:30 European Central Time, I believe it's called. 
and against a top of the table clash. This is one versus two today against Chiriano de la Vega, one of the local rivals here. So the CD Amanaca seniors looking to bounce back after a poor result last week on the road as well, similarly to this under 23 side. So both teams really looking to come back. So to see all the decisions made there, we don't want to give away anything. Never know who's listening. Never know, <laughs> never know who's playing, yeah, yeah, who's yeah. scouting, well, wa looking awesome. at the 23s. But the CDAC seniors will be taking part today later as well at 730, along with who else have we got today? I think the FC Feminino start their playoff yeah, campaign playoff today, today yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah. And it's the right? bonus, half five o'clock. Half so five o'clock, half five. So the... FCMC Feminino side play their first match in their promotion playoffs today as well after winning the league undefeated with only conceding one to two goals, I believe, throughout the entire season. The FCMC Femininos are back in action today as well, starting their promotion campaign. So massive games throughout the academy. And one last one, one more shout out has to be said as this game hits a bit of a dead patch is the FCMC seniors today, second versus third against Marasena on the road after having lost at home. A huge match for them coming. So all this, all your support is needed today. A massive slate of games for the club and for the academy as a whole. And if we can come out with four wins from four, don't think you'll see a happier town in all of Spain. Free kick coming for Celtic now. Similar position to the first one, but a bit farther out. This will be a cross. Smith needs to be alert. Swung in, blocks by the wall really well. That's number 10. That's Adelson Jr., the Brazilian. Jumps up well to defend it away for a corner. We'll have another look. We'll just see where it hit. Looks like he swung into the box, cut out. CDAC caught napping there. Corners taken short. Swung in. Really good clearance there with the left foot by Joe Babbage. W head coach Juan Mobile is livid on the touchline there, imploring his players just to be close to the action. You can't let a two versus one happen. Is that more of a player failure or a coaching failure, Mark? What do you think of that? I think uh, the boys just switched off there. If you see how angry Boye got there, and he's obviously been telling them in training not to do that. So. I don't, don't disagree with that. just seems to be, I think caught napping might be the best phrase for that one. Yeah, His players weren't too attent to it. But no harm done. Almanierka looks to break in behind for Conte Chase. Oh, Keeper nice. quickly off his line. Does well to clear. Brought down. Wow, what a touch that was in the center of the park. But doesn't fool Joe Babbage. And then Bongani recollects plays to Joaquin. Has Khan in space if he can find him. Looks to switch the play. Will it get uh, to Heredia? It oh, will through the legs it. of number 15. Rafia and Heredia play catch there. Some great football being played. Ultimately cleared out. Mark, what are you looking for combination-wise from the front three? It is a bit of a front three that's, say, inexperienced with playing together. Who can really take the reins of that front three and lead the line? I think you've got to see uh, Maldonado and Josh Khan up front. See those linking up. I know Josh Khan can always finish the ball, so Ronaldo looking on the naughty on the right. Get a ball in, get some goals that way. So Khan, of course, formerly of where did Josh play? Do I remember where Josh played? Not too sure, but I know he played his academy football in England. Was trialing around a bit before or landing in Spain last year from Leeds, of course. Josh, well great guy to uh, have Julie on Khan the pitch. On the uh, comments, Julie, where uh, where did you used to play? We've got Julie in there asking her for the information that we need. We haven't got our cheat sheet in front of us from that. But Josh, of course, a key member of this CDAC under-23 side, has fought through some injury troubles this year, yeah. but has really come good as of late and has been banging the goals recently. Great style of play there being shown from Alman Yecker. Ball infield for Adelson Jr. Does well to win it away from three oh. advancing Celtic yeah. players, and the Brazilian continues forward. Has Joaquin on the right-hand side. Managed to deliver. Can Joaquin cross? Just oh, blocked before it can enter the danger area. Really good enterprising play there from the Brazilian Adelson, but now Celtic have a chance to break. Careful. Over the top of Babbage, the number 19 has a run. Two players at the back post. Great work right there from Bongani in the center of the park to get in and mark up. But the player goes no. around. Joe taken down for a foul. Another free kick for Celtic. Don't know about that one. Let's have another look. Well, Mark is unconvinced. Let's see what convinced the referee to whistle for the foul. Got a bit of slow mo in there, players. Got the slow motion there. Maybe. Looks like the left leg might have kicked the right shin. Just goes down like a bit of a sack. Goes down a bit easy, but in, so mo far, in moments like in moments like that, this, yeah. in moments like that, you're in the attacking third. You don't have many options. As yeah. soon as you feel a lick of contact, down you go, and yeah. all of a sudden, here's a chance to get a striker across on goal. That's that's the new game, I guess. That's the way. See what they're gonna do. Way of football nowadays. But here comes the free kick. An in-swinger off the left peg. Flicked on. Ooh. Ooh, was in. A whisker away from the far post. The Celtic player is asking for a corner.
but it looks like it went clean through. Let off there for Amanyeker. Let's see, Mark, what did you think about this? It's a good shot. I'm telling you, one of these shots are going to go into it. Oh, oh, it's a header. Yeah, it looks yeah. like it was flicked. Yeah, yeah. Flicked on, so a cross came in there, it looks like. I'm not too sure you hit it. Flicked on. It could have been off of one of our own guys. Not too sure. Went very, very quick. But Rafa over the top now looking for the run of Adelson. Keeper off his line. Ooh. Clears with his feet. Really good play there from the keeper. Always a bit of a tricky situation when it's just not carrying enough pace to catch. Does well to clear off the line. i just got to say that the keeper looks absolutely amazing. Those goggles on. I don't know what he looks like. I will think of something. So who we've got? We've got the keeper with the goggles. Let's run through the f the, the sporting repertoire of players with goggles. Who have we got? We've got Edgar Davids. Edgar Davids, yeah. Of course, always with the goggles. We're going um, stateside. We're going Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, maybe. Yeah. Of the old LA Lakers with the goggles as well. German player. Um. Oh, that's the reason we got them. So we've got a German player as well who we have not yet diagnosed. Got the keeper there. You've got a good shot of him. He goes long with a very booming kick. Good play by Babbage to cut it out there. Rafia brings it down in the midfield. Munoz carries towards the touchline but loses out. So Julie Kahn has told us Bradford City and Halifax Town is where Josh played. So some good level English yeah. clubs there. Big really time. good. Bradford City believe League One. Halifax are in the National League. The last oh I yeah. checked, if I remember. Recollected in the midfield now by Bongani. Oh, there, the right. Celtic player caught with a stray oh, elbow. Referee says up. play on. Oh, come on. Now whistles for a stoppage to check on the felled player. Nothing doing there from Bongani. Just a bit of a just yeah. a bit of an arm flailing there. No intent in that. Just tries to use his body to get in the way of the player. We'll have another look at it. Mark, let me know. What do you think? Talk me through it. Don't know. I think I don't Oh, oh yeah, maybe you got a bit of something in the face, didn't it? I tell you what, that elbow looked a bit yeah. high there. If yeah. it was to me, it almost looks like he threw it a little bit. I was going to uh, start saying that he needs to get up and so on, but I don't know, he did get a bit of a hand in the face there. Hope he's all right. Looks to be okay. Referee gets his back underway through the feet of Celtic players. Long ball into the corner, cut out well by Joaquin. Headed on by Bongani, but the flag is up on the far side for an offside. I don't know if we're going to get it on this. Ready to find himself in a bit of space now. Adelton running in behind, looking Ooh. for Khan instead. Can Josh get a flick header? Keeper punches oh. over his head and then <laughs> tackles Khan. <laughs> this is a bit of a rugby <laughs> tackle there. Khan does the sporting thing and helps him up. I yeah. wouldn't be too pleased if I was the English striker there. No. But the keeper climbs over the back of him and almost rugby tackles him to the floor. Let's have another <laughs> look at that. Look, he's covered his face after it. Look. So great jump, does really well to win it, and then <laughs> seems to almost get <laughs> him in a <laughs> headlock. Jesus. I know that Patty the Batty was fighting last night, but <laughs> I don't think the rear naked <laughs> chokehold has any sh any place on a football pitch. Oh but that God. was interesting from a from a sc the scouser Patty the Batty last night. Now Khan on the receiving end of the rear naked choke. But the referee ball, whistles for a foul on the English striker. Free <laughs> kick for Celtic. <laughs> I think the keeper thought he's Josh's head was the football. Maybe I don't know. Maybe he needs to change goggles. Mm. Keeper goes long, recollected on the far side by Adelson Jr. Ultimately out for a Celtic free kick, but now it gives us a chance to highlight Adelson, the number 10. So Adelson is scheduled to come here three years ago, or not three years ago, about a year and a half ago, we'll say, from Brazil. But due to the outbreak of COVID, of course, he struggled getting a visa. And ultimately, his arrival was delayed and delayed and delayed until finally, just a few months ago, he was able to get his visa, come through, works for the club now. One of the kit men, one of the one of the laundry guys at the club, and Adelson just all around great guy. Started off with the CDAC seniors now, and has come down to the under 23s for some more game time. Khan with a chance to break in behind here, keeper off his line, clears but only straight in the air. Can Maldonado manage to recollect? Good play from the number four there to dive in front of Maldonado, and this is Bongani again with the elbow. Referee going into his pocket now. Will brandish the yellow card this time for the midfielder. We'll have another look at it, but this is the second time in as many minutes that Bongani has brandished that elbow into the face of one of the opposition players. Let's have another look to see if it, if it was egregious this time. Yeah, it needs to be careful, I think. Definitely needs to be careful. So the pressure from Khan and Maldonado ultimately resulted in a ball into the midfield from Celtic. Bongani, yeah, that elbow's high again. Yeah. 
Elbows high again. This time the referee left with no other choice but to book him. But the elbow's up there. That's something he's really got to be careful about. Would not be surprised at all if Bouillejos is getting a sub ready. Yeah, he's just being careless, isn't he? Long over the top, Smith off his line to Claim. Does really well, Claims at the highest point there. Brings it down, looks to get the counter attack going quickly. Khan brings it down off the chest. Lovely hold up play there from the former Bradford City man. Maldonado looks to switch play to Adelson Jr. Just a bit too hard out for a Celtic throw in. Almanica really haven't hit their rhythm yet in this no. attacking third. What do you think might be the key to unlocking that potent attack? I think they just gotta keep pressing. They gotta get the ball more in their half up towards their goal because at the moment it's just all in the field when we get the ball. We've got arms getting thrown around rather than balls going in the back of the net. It hasn't looked like the center of the park now can really get a handle on this game yet. It's been very very 50-50 in the midfield. Not a lot of possession. Scrappy is, I think, the best word to describe it. Yeah. Not too much possession. Not too many passes being completed. I'd say possession's near around 50-50. Not been too much around the back. Really surprised for this Almanyeker side who'd like to possess the ball. Yeah, you always see. I, I think if Almanyeker or Malaga, because we always play out from the back, if the first five minutes didn't go well and we're not playing out from the back, I find it hard to get into the game, I think, sometimes. Celtic go all the way back to the keeper. The pressure from Khan forces it long. Again, fought for in the Ooh. center of the park. Some head tennis. Foot, yeah. Celtic player comes flying through the ball. Rafia takes a knock for his troubles, but quickly up. Referee happy to keep his cards in his pocket. T tries to go quickly, asking for a card. He's got to be careful. He's got to be careful right now, especially on a booking. Yeah, you so there is. Rafia manages to take that knock to the shoulder. I don't think it's a card. I don't think he's meant anything by no, it. No, it doesn't look like a card to me, but referee, you never know with the high foot yeah, near yeah, the yeah, face. Yeah. Referees could always take a more severe view on that. T goes long over the top looking for Adelson. Great ball. Adelson, surrounded by two in the area, goes down, tries to recollect on the third attempt. Doesn't look like a penalty from here. Not too many protests from the pitch as well. Now Heredia over the ball. Lovely little drop of the shoulder there in infield for Munez. Oh. Adelson takes a knock. Referee says nothing doing again, so lenient here. We'll say the referee. Adelson doing really well to find the ball in some dangerous areas. Munoz, T under pressure. Gets it out to the feet of Lozano. The Spaniard looks to play Maldonado, but seems to be playing an in-between ball there between Joaquin and Jerson. Ultimately out for an Almanirka throw. Ball infield for Munoz. He finds himself in space. He turns the shot from range. What a strike. Oh. Good save from the keeper. Wow. Tailing away from him. Keeper did well to track that. But what a strike from Rafa, from Rafa Munoz. That was a big shot. Good save. Munoz on it again now. Plays infield looking for Heredia. See, this Heredia is what we need to do. Turns. Yeah, playing in the opposition half. Really good. Joaquin swings towards the edge of the area. Ultimately out on the far side, but recollected by Bongani. Mangani looks to swing in, defend it away for a throw, and let's have another look at that Munoz chance. What a shot. It's a bit more to the left, I think. It looks like it came from a throw, and we'll keep you apprised of any chances coming on the pitch right now. Just fought for in the midfield. T looks to turn away, still being fought for, but... <laughs> it's a good shot. That shot from Munoz. Mark, you saw it better than I did. You had the angle on it. What did you see there? Good save. I think keeper should have made that save. If it goes in, then it'd be a bit of an upset for Celtic, but good save. Great midfield play there. Bongani ultimately plays the ball to Rafa. Oh, nice. Munoz turns oh. away from one, turns away from two, wins the foul. Really done there from Rafa Munoz. Nice quick feet. Foul on Rafia leads to a spell of Almanyaka possession. Joaquin on the right side now. Ball.
ball goes all the way back to Will Smith. Eventually, he w Smith with some time keeps possession short to Babbage. Babbage will go long over the top looking for Khan. So an interesting tactical, maybe a bit of information insight here, I think we'll call it, is that the center half from Celtic likes to drop extremely deep. So Khan is yep. running one versus one from him. But Khan occupying the center back, that means the space, especially with the center back deep, is down the wings. And that's where we need yeah. to find Adelson and we need to find Maldonado. Yeah, Maldonado is at a good first five minutes. It's not where he's done anything since, I don't think. Yeah. Started the game quite strongly, but seems to have faded as we tick towards. Wow, the already the 30th minute. This half has gone by pretty, pretty, well, pretty quickly right now. Looks like Almanyecker may have a sub in the works at some point. Aaron McKee there is yeah. stripped. Oh, he's not coming on. Just not yet. yet on, but I have a feeling he may be entering the fray quite soon. Buyeo Mateo as well. Yeah, Mateo Aveling still warming up there, putting on a bib. Now he's oh, got, got the warm-up suit off. So maybe it's a double change coming in the first half. We know Buyeos isn't shy to make first-half substitutions. A few of the last couple games we've streamed here, we've seen him make those first-half changes if players aren't playing well or on a card. Oh, but a chance for Khan's are running behind here. Let's see if he can Go stretch on. his legs. Uh, good last-ditch defending there from Celtic, but Khan continues to press well. Oh, ultimately wins it out, but the throw-in goes the way of the visiting side. Yeah, I don't know if it, it might be a good shout, to be fair, for making those early subs. I think uh, Aaron will just keep a bit more... Stability at the back, uh, give uh, the other boys a bit more chance to attack. So if we see McKee coming on, in my mind, the natural transition there is especially Bongani, the number 26 in the center of the park, with that yellow yeah. card. I think he comes off. I think Lozano drops I or pushes into that midfield role, and McKee takes up his natural role at center back. Yeah, that would be a good shot, I think. I think that's what may be going through Bouillejos' head, but we can never profess to know with Juanma. He, of course, is the tactical genius. We are, of course, the commentators. We listen to him. But chaos on oh. the far side now. Looks like all kinds of things happening. Joaquin oh. pushing the Celtic player. Babbage looks to have been stepped on. Let's get a replay queued up as long as we can get it because we have a lot to see, and I think the camera has got it perfectly. Let's have a look. So it looks like just a bit of pushing and shoving now. We'll keep you updated on what's going on, but let's have a look at it. So Babbage and the player go in for a 50-50. Does he take a stamp? Oh, he punches him in the leg. Does he get a punch? It looks like he does. Joaquin quickly over yeah. to defend the teammate. Run it back again. Let's get a bit of a closer look. Let's watch. Where did you see that punch come in, Mark? So if you watch his right hand there. Oh, a bit of an elbow. So let's see. Maybe we'll tell the ref right now. We just see Boye and Aaron. There's a shot of Juan Mobillejos, of course, the head coach of the CDAC under 23 side. And it looks like dueling cards have been issued to both guilty parties there. So Babbage, uh, so Babbage initially, and then the number 28 for his reaction. As you could see there, the left, it looks like the right elbow of the Celtic yeah. player was driven into the leg of. 100%. Of Joe Babbage, the center half there. We muted the camera for a little bit just to ask the refs to see if he saw it. Clearly didn't. We no. have the benefit of VAR. We asked him to take a look. He didn't didn't really want to. No. So Which that decision VAR stays as is. Adelson with a nice little scorpion flick over the top to clear his line. I was trying to give him the benefit of the doubt, the guy that fell over and threw the punch, thinking that maybe he's just trying to hit the floor and he's hit the guy's leg, but I don't know. It looked a bit... Looks like it was swung with a bit of malice, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Looks like it kind of drove down into where the player was, not so much to where the ground yeah, was. Yeah, just trying to go through anything. But ultimately, I believe that dueling yellow cards may have been the right decision there. Yeah. Not too sure if it was violent enough conduct for a red. Of course, we've seen them given for that before. In all our experience, we've seen yeah, that yeah. given before. But I feel like keeping kind of the lid on the pot right now before it boils over was a good move from the referee. Chance for Celtic now coming forward. Babbage with defensive work to do. Clears off the foot of number two. Out for an Amanyaker throw in. 
based on what you've seen, Mark, in the first 30, let's say, 32 minutes right now, based on what you've seen, who's more likely to score first, or is it still kind of up in the air? Still up in the air, but if I was going to pick anyone, I'd probably put money on Celtics at the moment, just because of our performance. So just what I... They're just going to get some in. They seem oh. to be pressing, and almost oh. as if almost on cue. Jesus. Celtic hit the post in the first clear chance of the play. day. Wow, so let off again for Almanac City now. But as Not Mark really. professes, we'll have another look as a substitution is being made. But as Bridal professes, we'll call him Mark Stradamus. <laughs> Works for me. Ball swung into the area, flicked on at the near post. Smith, a spectator, off the post and out, fortunately. But here comes that substitution that we predicted I before. You're right, yeah, you're right. So score one for the tactics in the commentary team. McKee That's comes really on. Bangani comes off. And it looks like Lozano pushes up into that number six role. So almost as we theorized, prophesized to a degree, McKee on into that natural center back role. Him, of course, one of the victims of that game last week. Yeah. That six one loss ag that six one loss against Montefrio. So McKee comes back in in the thirty third minute. Always good to have Aaron back on the pitch. He's been a mainstay for the CDAC under-23 side for the last few months. But after a game like that, especially against the promotion rival, you can't really blame Bujejos for making no. that change. But McKee just brings that sense of confidence, that sense of assurance in the back there that you really need, especially as a team. Yeah. I was going to say that. It's like uh, you do have those players that when they come on the pitch, they feel a bit more comfortable. I think he is 100% one of them. McKee, formerly of Queen of the South in Scotland, I believe, was playing up there before the scouting network of George Jeremy identified him as a player here at CD Almanacker City. But chance for Celtic coming forward again. The yellow carded number 28 switches to the far side. Defensive work for Babbage. Cuts inside. The shot off the left foot cleared before it can trouble Smith by T. Headed back into the area. Cleared further by T this time. Number 23 volleys back into the area. The second number 23. Shields oh, away oh. from Lozano. Oh, puts his hands wisely oh, in the air. On, now boys. a chance for Maldonado Don't to break. break. Plays Conner behind. Can he stretch oh, the leg? Has a Delson in space in the center. Josh Conn just loses a bit of momentum there. Pulls it back. Has Maldonado making the run forward. Chooses Heredia, oh, well, who then well. goes wide to Munoz. Rafa Good Munoz good. now isolated on the left side. Cuts back to Miguel Heredia. 30 yards from goal. Will he have a shot? Looks like he will. Cuts inside. Onto that favored right foot. Goes for the curler. Only into the hands of the keeper. But the first real flurry yeah. of attacking intent for Mal Munecker. Mark, talk us through it. So it was a really good bit of play. I'm going to get your replay up right now, just so we can go through it. So it's actually broken down from Josh Khan on the right. He's passed it in. It's been a nice little dummy there, but I don't know. The shot's too easy for the keeper, I guess. So knowing Miguel Heredia, I could see in his mind what he wanted to do. Shot, he? he just worked. He wanted that curler into the far post just to tuck it into the stanchion, but just started it too narrow, never troubling the keeper there. But yeah. good intent shown from Almanyaka there as Maldonado wins the foul. So he just got some in the eyes, though. Yeah, it looks like he might have taken a bit of a knock to the face. We'll have another look at it. Looks header. Looks like maybe a so maybe a stray it. arm there, a stray hand yeah. from the Celtic defender. Not too many protests coming from the away side. No, I don't think there's anything on purpose. It is horrible when you get them in the eye, though. Yeah, never a pleasant feeling. You get that like that burning almost through your yeah, face. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you can almost describe it as TV static behind <laughs> yeah, 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 behind yeah, yeah, the inflamed yeah. area. Noise. <laughs> yeah, long ball Quite over nice. the top now. Defended away. Looks like Almanyeka will go a corner here. Yeah, they will. Some good pressure from Joaquin after a nice long ball out of the back. Looks like Lozano swung that in. Now a chance for Almanyeka. Is that the first corner of the game? Looks like it w I believe it is the first corner of the game. No, we've had one, the short one that the short one that Celtic played that we oh, were oh criticizing yeah. the players for not being too alert to. Oh, yeah, but this yeah. is the first corner for Alman Yecker today. Looks like Munoz over to take. This is where the substitute McKee could come into play. Swung in towards the back post. Joaquin Ooh, in space. Looks to flick it back across. McKee under pressure. Ultimately cleared only as far as Miguel Heredia. Heads it back towards the area. Joaquin up this time back into the danger area. Joaquin takes a knock for his trouble. Adelson presses high. Cleared only as far as Miguel. Miguel's touch evades him. Long over the top, looking for the winger. Marshaled well by T, out for an Almanyeka throw. Wise play by T there. Just gets yeah. it going back underway through Smith. Doesn't let the Celtic line get up. Just gets it right underway as quick as he can. Smith needs to play quick here. Good. Out to the feet of McKee. Munoz on the near side, imploring the Scotsman to drive forward. But now Celtic have had a chance to reset, recollect their position, win their shape back. Back into passing around the back. 
Lozano and Munoz play some nice passes in the middle before the switch out to McKee. McKee drives Maldonado and Joaquin in space. McKee with a chip ball in behind looking Steve for Maldonado, but offside. Maldonado just didn't run. Th the winger didn't make a move. It's a great ball from Aaron McKee. Jerson fully offside, just didn't go. We'll have another look. They'll get the wide angle replay for you. McKee there found himself in acres of space. Chips the ball into the channel. Yeah, he should have gone. Maldonado just stood still. Maybe he wanted the ball a bit earlier. Bit of miscommunication there. But Celtic go quickly. Referee signals for a stoppage. Asking for a handball, it looks like. Claiming that Celtic picked it up before the ball went out. Referee says to play on. Hmm, with a the Celtic throw-in. That was a strange one. So we got a few of the uh, Almanac under 23 boys warming up. So I can see Luca Rosano. I can see Matteo warming up. The number nine. Well, Mark, your eyes must be better than I am because Rosano is indeed over there. Number nine is Sergi Rabinho. And it looks like Matteo Aveling still over there. But Celtic have a corner now for us to contend with as we tick towards the final few minutes of the first half. Looks like it'll be an in-swing. A work for Smith to do here. Swung in, second post. Headed clear by the Englishman, Joe Babbage. Flicks back by the number 23. Adelson's clearance only goes as far as the Celtic 34. Oh, Chance here for the away side. Ooh. Gets around Babbage. Got to be careful not Don't to dive in here. Ball stood up towards the back post. Smith stays on his line. A bicycle Ooh. kick attempt. Ultimately cleared well by Joaquin. Maldonado, a spectator. Nothing more. Out for a throw-in. As boy trying to get his men... In line yeah, really trying to goal. rally the troops here. Big halftime team talk coming up. This Almanacar side has been flat so far today. But to be honest, the addition of McKee seems to have brought a bit of stability to the back yeah. line so far. They I seem to be passing a bit more as Khan has whistled for a foul there. Just a bit overzealous to try to get on the end of that long ball. But that's yeah. a foul you like to see a striker commit. 100%. Because if he, wins the, if he wins that ball cleanly, all of a sudden he's in on goal. Commits a foul. There's no threat to him. Yeah. Celtic will just possess. Nothing doing. Exactly. So really good. As a striker, it's always important to pick your spots. Pick where you're going to press. Pick where you're going to commit your fouls if you're going to. And pick where you're going to press fully. And that's something Josh Khan really does have a great handle on. Played through. Intercepted oh, by Lozano. Really good. Like you said, Mark. Great interception there. There was danger on. T with defensive work to do now. His left-footed clearance only goes out for another corner for Celtic. So the second corner in quick succession for the away side here. First one proves a bit dangerous. Let's see if they can maybe find that breakthrough on the third. Got the lovely little corner graphic there. Mark Bridal, commentator and director, flashing up the stats as they come. This time an outswinging corner. Headed clear by Adelson at the first post. Done really well there, did the Brazilian. Out wide again. This time defended by that man, Adelson again. Out for a throw in this time. Adelson, of course, wearing the famous Brazilian number 10. Simulating the idol Neymar Jr., of course. Adelson finally playing in some competitive matches. Ball out for a corner. So Abinecker with more defensive work to do here as Celtic win themselves a corner. Wind's picking up now. We've got a couple of clouds fly over us now. The sun is gone. This time ball swung out, flicked on by the number 34. Work Ooh, for Smith to well do. Catch is right underneath the bar, but two Almanacar players down right now, Adelson, and it looks like Babbage was quickly back to his feet, but concern here for Adelson. But well taken by Smith. You know what that reminded me of, Mark? Go on. That reminded me of the Pickford moment against against Liverpool where Divock Origi scored that 97th minute winner. Just the way the ball looped up yeah, over yeah. the bar. It's an awkward one. Yeah, awkward one for the keeper. Smith did really well to handle that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Was that uh, for Liverpool to win? That was for Liverpool to win 2-1, I believe. It was yeah, a Merseyside yeah, yeah, yeah. derby, if yeah. I remember. I believe at Anfield. Yeah, Pickford almost palmed it onto his own crossbar. From a corner, is it? Or free kick? From a free Comes kick, I think. Comes off the bar, and then Origi is on hand just to tap in. Yeah, I think you're right. So similar to that, but this time with a better outcome for our boys, as Smith claims. Looks like Adelson back up to his feet. His shoe is off. 
Good to well, see. I'm not too sure how that happened, but very good to see, as you said, Mark. It looks like a su another substitution is being readied here. Will it be a change? Looks like Rosano coming over. So interesting bit about Rosano coming up, which we'll share when he comes in. But looks like he's about ready to enter the fray here. Three minutes left of the first half. Not sure who Bujejos is going to pull here. Maybe Adelson if he's injured, but I yeah, feel like Adelson's been say. one of the better players yeah. so far. He's done well defensively. He's yeah, been yeah. good going forwards as well. So who would you sacrifice right now if you were if you were Bujejos and wanted to make a sub right before the break? I think Maldonado maybe would be a good shout. I think Luca is a natural winger. He's good. He's got quick feet. He likes to run down the channels. So maybe oh. Good interception there by McKee, but danger coming for Celtic. Overload on the left-hand side, flicked back to the number 21 ball, squared across. Oh, well done, really man. good defending there from the flying Scotsman, Aaron McKee. That's why he's been brought on. That's why he has been brought on. Does a really good defensive play there after Lozano sold him short on the pass across. He did first well to defend away, and then even better on the second attempt just to clear out for a Celtic throw. But this time ball out for a goal kick. So good defensive play there from Aaron McKee. Looks like Rosano's just put on the bib to continue warming up. So that could be a halftime substitution yeah. in the works. But it seems like the commentary team is on, it's kind of on the same wavelength today as Maldonado would be the one that I'd remove as well. Yeah. Just hasn't had too much of an impact in the game. Jerson's best when he's in behind, and the ball just hasn't been played over the top as much for yeah, him today. Yeah. And I think that's because, not because they've not been given him. He's not been making the right runs, I don't think. Yeah, haven't been too, too many runs over the top. Seems to be a bit of a dull performance. Buyejo's trying to rally the troops on the far side. I'm going to have a throw in here in the attacking half. Taking quickly, Heredia and T try to keep possession. Ultimately cleared up the line, out for a throw in. Babbage over it, plays infield for Rafia Munoz. Defended away for another throw in from the same spot. This time T back to take the throw in. Julia Khan, go Aaron. Yeah, we love him. We love the Khan, McKee, link up. Pair of good boys on and off the pitch. Of course, roommates now having closed on a new apartment in Almanyaka yeah, overlooking yeah. Moye Siete, the club restaurant. Lovely little spot there. We're waiting for to have the housewarming party there. <laughs> sure, when we get a weekend off, we'll all be over there having a good time. <laughs> of course, Aaron and Josh, really, really good friends, formerly of one of the apartments here have decided to move into a new one We've been really nice for them so delighted for them this ball over the top Maldonado to chase now as we said Maldonado working well. really well in behind now does well let's see if he can win the side of corner being shielded away let's see what the referee decides goal he'll kick. decide for a goal kick Heredia and Lozano disagreeing there but I believe that was the right call yeah I think uh, have Josh and Aaron moved in with Philip. Yeah, they have. So Philip's gone over to under 23s for FCMC. Now. Philip Nishik as well. Was he part of the live stream last night? The FCMC under 23s. Did he get some minutes there? I think so. I'm not too sure. It was my birthday yesterday, so I was not there. I'm not too sure, Mark. Not too sure. It was not my birthday yesterday, but I was not there either. <laughs> but uh, it has to be said, a massive happy birthday to the producer extraordinaire, Mark Bridal. This would not be possible without him. These streams would not be able to be brought to you with such high quality, with such good graphics. We've seen the difference having a producer on site here. The graphics coming up, the lineups, the names, the numbers. It's all down to the hard work on the ground here. Mark Bridal really putting in the shift. His birthday yesterday turning. How old were how do how old did you turn, Mark? Twenty six. Twenty six. Wow. One younger than twenty seven, but one older <laughs> than twenty five. So twenty six. One of those meaningless birthdays that we've got over the top. Yeah. But a massive happy birthday has to be given out to the best producer I've seen and the best co-coms. Oh, oh, James is gonna be mad at me for that one. Oh. We'll call you the second best co-coms because <laughs> yeah, yeah, James I'll is the head that. of media. I'll so the that. second best co-coms I've had is Mark Bridal. Big happy birthday to the man turning twenty six years old. And Mark, it's great to have you here with us. Yeah. You're an absolute star, mate. I was missing you the other day. I was on my own doing commentary with my bumblebee voice. I didn't know where you were. Just shouting out for you at half time. <laughs> Final minute of play here in the first half. Headed clear by T. Scrappy play from Adelson, who's down again with another knock. McKee clears, looking for Khan. Khan's flicked header. No one advancing ahead of him. Just scrappy. A lot of head tennis in the middle. Ball can't settle. Doesn't find any feet right now. But yeah, just can't be happy with this first half. No, I don't think he is. I think the only positive right now is that we haven't conceded. Yeah, don't think we've seen Not too many chances. Smith under pressure. 
Great chip ball to Joaquin. Love that. Under pressure, though. Under pressure, can McKee clean up? He does really well to find the head of Munoz. Oh, the Celtic player takes one in the face. Stumbles a bit there. Down he goes. This should spell halftime, but concern for the number 20. We'll have another look at that. Just flicked over the top. Unsighted. Just caught it right in the face. Wasn't braced for it. He's down there and stumbling. And with that, the referee will blow for yeah. halftime. So a wise decision there by the man in pink. Just the injury was not going to be uh, was the injury was not going to be a short one. No time to really get back underway. So referee decides to call a halt to proceedings for the halftime minute uh, for the halftime whistle. So a shaky first half for Almanyaka. Chances came for Celtic. Almanyaka maybe with a chance or two of their own. But changes need to be made if we're going to get a positive result out of this game. So 45 down, 45 to go here in Almanyaka. Please come back in 15 minutes for all the action in the second half. We will see you soon. See you soon. Yeah, so, so we're in the UK, uh, my first ever trip over to, to England and um, you know, I think it's been, been a success to be honest. Um, you know, we're finishing up now uh, our, our four day um, experience with a tour around Carroll Road. We brought the boys down here last night, um, they got to see a live Premier League game against Manchester United and then um, we're now getting to see the stadium where um, the Manchester United players and Norwich players were playing last night, so you know, unbelievable experience. Yeah, I think you know it's gone as, as well as it could have. You know, we have to review it now, and I mean, you can always do do better. Um, but for a first hit out, you know, I think we've done um, a sterling effort, and I can't thank the staff enough. You know, from um, from the media guys to, to Juan Carlos, um, Ryan, you know, has been an absolute loot trooper. You know, I think everyone's really dug in, and it shows kind of what this project's about. That is, it's not just the glitz and glamour, but we've got people that uh, are really here for the cause and just to do the best for the players. The best thing probably about the academy is just being able to meet different footballers from around the world and play against the big teams that you wouldn't get to in Australia. The coaches here are absolutely amazing. They help me in everything, uh, teach me the movements, the runs, the passes, what to do and what not to do and to be honest I've become such a better player since I've arrived. If I had to describe football in one word I would choose magical. It's just a sport that I couldn't describe how, how much it means to me and it, everything revolves around it. And it's just all I have, and it's all I'm gonna have, and it's all I want to do for the rest of my life. <laughs> I would say life, because I feel like my life moves around football, and it's just, I'm always watching football, I'm always playing football, and I just always have it on my mind. Probably a dream, you know. God's giving me the ability to play, so I'm enjoying it. Um, I have to keep working hard training, and I'll see where it takes me. I play football because I love it, I just like playing. I love uh, the game, especially Spanish football. Ah, uh, for me, is like, is my life. This is my life. I think I have talent, but like I say, it's not enough for all players. Even if you have talent, you have to work next to training and do everything you can to be at the top level. Basically, just um, if you want to make it, just go for it. Train hard, work hard and don't give up. Uh, be able to adapt and change the things. Soccer is a very subjective sport. 
and it's all about the coach's mind and what they're trying to play, but it's really been a fantastic experience for me, and I would recommend you come try it out yourself. Para mí es, es un honor de, de poder estar aquí de, en Balaído. ¿no? Ha sido un estadio que ha hecho muchísimo gol y ha hecho una carrera eh, magnífica. Estaba yo en el Málaga haciendo muchísimo gol. Entonces ha tenido una propuesta, ha tenido una conversación con Horacio, con todo el directivo. Y para mí fue... Fue emocionante porque tú llegas en un equipo como Celta de Vigo. Para llegar hay un, un camino muy grande. Hay que trabajar mucho, hay que estar todos los días muy concentrado, disciplina táctica, disciplina y todo. Entonces es muy importante tener es lo primero. Y aquí es lo más importante. Lo que el entrenador está explicando lo que tiene que hacer. Entonces yo lo comento siempre a ellos que hay que aprender. Estamos en no, una no fase de aprendizaje muy grande. La formación de ellos es lo más importante de, de, de la academia. La academia, lo que más interesa es la academia Malaga City, la formación. El objetivo de la academia es formar lo máximo que en el final de año tenemos la certeza que enseñamos a ese chico algo. Eso es lo más importante. Que él esté feliz. La felicidad de él es la felicidad de la academia.
Yeah, so, so we're in the UK, um, my first ever trip over to, to England and um, you know, I think it's been, been a success to be honest. Um, you know, we're finishing up now our, our four day um, experience with a tour around Carroll Road. We brought the boys down here last night, um, they got to see a live Premier League game against Manchester United and then um, we're now getting to see the stadium where um, the Manchester United players and Norwich players were playing last night, so you know, unbelievable experience. Yeah, I think, you know, it's gone as, as well as it could have, you know, we have to review it now and I mean, you can always do do better, um, but for a first hit out, you know, I think we've done um, a sterling effort and I can't thank the staff enough, you know, from um, from the media guys to, to Juan Carlos, um, Ryan, you know, has been an absolute, absolute trooper, you know, I think everyone's really dug in and it shows kind of of what this project's about, that it's, it's not just the glitz and glamour, but we've got people that uh, are really here for the cause and just to do the best for the players. The best thing probably about the academy is just being able to meet different footballers from around the world and play against the big teams that you wouldn't get to in Australia. The coaches here are absolutely amazing. They help mean everything, uh, teach me the movements, the runs, the passes, what to do and what not to do and to be honest I've become such a better player since I've arrived. If I had to describe football in one word I would choose magical. It's just a sport that I couldn't describe how how much it means to me and it everything revolves around it and it's just all I have and it's all I'm gonna have and it's all I want to do for the rest of my life. I would say life because I feel like my life moves around football and it's just, I'm always watching football, I'm always playing football, and I just always have it on my mind. Probably a dream, you know. God's given me the ability to play, so I'm enjoying it. Um, I have to keep working hard training, and I'll see where it takes me. I play football because I love it. I just like playing. I love uh, the game, especially Spanish football. Ah, uh, for me, it's like, it's my life. This is my life. I think, I have talent, but like I say, it's not enough for all players. Even if you have talent, you have to work next to training and do everything you can to be at the top level. Basically, just um, if you want to make it, just go for it. Train hard, work hard, and don't give up. Uh, be able to adapt and change the things. Soccer is a very subjective sport and it's all about the coaches' mind and what they're trying to play, but it's really been a fantastic experience for me and I would recommend you come try it out yourself. And we are back to live pictures. Welcome to the second half of CB Almineco under 23s versus Celtic CF. It's nil nil at half time. We're just getting ready to get started up again. Braden is just throwing caps up to our camera people so they don't get burnt to death in this lovely sun. As we just wait to get back underway. So I think there might be a couple of changes at half time. We'll bring you them as we go along. Yeah, we've got those changes. Now I am back after a brief wardrobe change. We've got those changes for you. Quick action for Smith in the opening few minutes. Claims quickly. Gets us going through Adelson who loses out and clears. So the two changes we have looks actually I believe there's three if my yeah. eyes don't deceive me. It looks like it right back coming in is Mateo Aveling. So that'll be a like for like swap with Joaquin on the right side and it looks like two of the front three have changed one of the ch one of the selections we've made came true Maldonado has been removed for Sergi Rabinho it looks like and Josh Khan has come off as well for Luca Rosano oh wait I think it's Joaquin still on number two so we've got Joaquin for Aveling that's correct at the right back Mateo for C. There's our man Mateo. That is Mateo Aveling. Of course, we've got that. So that's one of the subs. There's confirmation of the Mateo sub. After this free kick, we will bring you the other two. But we know who they are. 
So we'll get them for you. But chance here for Celtics to get a shot on goal. Big distance here. 35, 40 yards out. What do you think? Strong card, I think. Yeah. Takes a shot Staying straight the into the wall. Strong abs, strong core shown by, looks like, Miguel Heredia with the block. And now a chance for Amanyaka to break. Substitutes Rubinho and Rosano combining. Uh, looked like was Rosano was going for the switch the there for yeah. Adelson. But now brings us a chance to bring in those last two substitutes. So Ellie doing great work to bring us Luca Rosano there. He is coming on. Rosano coming on there. It looks like on the right wing. It looks like that was Maldonado's role. So if we can get that up for you while we're staying on Rosano. Yeah. Luca Rosano coming on. We'll get confirmation of that yeah. in just one second. Smith under pressure here. Goes long with the left as far as Joaquin. Brought down and then cleared. Headed by Aaron McKee. Defended. McKee still carrying forward. Brings it down. Babbage dwells too long on it here. For Celtics to come forward. Babbage was clear with the left foot. Only as far as the wing. There we see another substitute. That's Sergio Rubinho on for Josh Kahn. So the former Cultural Asako striker comes on in place of the former Leeds man. So Kahn enters the fray now. Aveling enters the fray now. Aveling plays to Rosano. Rosano drives forward, cuts infield, has Heredia, chooses to continue driving, ignores Munoz and Miguel, switches play instead to Keen, who's moved over to the left back. Throw in for Almanac now. Already on the right side. In for Munoz. Munoz turns away. Let's play through the key. Ball looks to break in behind. Celtic with the possession in the midfield now. Out for an Almanac throw in. Rafa does well, dances away from a player, finds himself in space. Has Joaquin on the switch, but not too, too many options. Adelson looking in behind, chooses instead to go short to Aveling. His touch out of play, but recollected really well. Looks like it stayed in play. Recollected really well by Luca Rosano on the far side. McKee now drives into midfield, turns away from one, but there's no options here for Almanyeka to play out with. Aveling can only be reduced to going long, defended away for a throw in. So. Disappointing so far from Almanyeker here in these opening stages of the first half. Just not too many options up the pitch, forcing the long ball. Pokes clear only as far as McKee. Shields out well for a throw. There is number 17, Luca Rosano, in for Jerson Maldonado. So the final substitution is confirmed now. Adelson with a lovely little chest down to Rafa Munoz. Switch of play from Hereni to there's that man, Rosano. Luca Rosano cuts in field, takes on one, takes on two, takes a hip check, goes down. Referee says nothing doing, waves play on. Good pressure from Rubinho, and then the referee whistles for a foul. Really interesting there. Really not sure what happened there. Mark, let's see what you think about that one. Looks like looked to be a foul initially on Rosano, and then he blows for the much weaker decision oh, on Rubinho. Is it? No. Oh, he's doing his airpiece. I'll go for a replay while he's sorting himself out. So that was Rosano. Has he got his... Uh, Substitution on, he gets the ball. That's surely a foul. Yeah, I don't know. That's definitely a foul to us, I think. I don't know how that's ended up for a free kick for them. So, either way, decisions made, can't be changed. The long ball from Celtic ultimately runs out for an Almanyaker throw in after some good defensive play from Matteo Aveling. Rosano hooks up the pitch. Rubinho loses out to the number four. He bounces out for another Aveling throw. There is that substitute. There is Matteo Aveling, of course, the California native, coming out for, I believe, his third season in Almanyeker now. 
finally of age to play senior football immediately into this under-23 side. Only 18 years of age, Mateo. So really good to get this experience at the senior level at such a young age. Really one for the future. Yeah, he's a good kid. I think we went to Paris with him. Had a good chat with him. Uh. Rosano fouled for the third time in as many minutes as one of the Celtic players picks up a booking for his complaints. It looks like a dissent there. Must have said the magic word. We'll see... Rosano on the floor there. Took the th this is his third knock in as many minutes, it seems, just yeah. since coming on. Now this time, referee rewards him with the foul call, booking for the Celtic midfielder and a free kick for Amon Yecker. I think it's just because he's so tricky, Rosano. He's one of those players that just always get fouled. Yeah, the one of those players that's really, really quick with the ball at his feet. You never really know which direction he's going. And that, of course, leads to just being kicked sometimes yeah. because if you fool the defender, the nothing left to do other than bring you down. We got to be careful not to do it too, too much and almost make that your only style of play. Yeah. Need to be careful of that. But Rosano proving a spark so far. Now the free kick. Heredia drives in. He got mm, that one all yeah. wrong. Miss hit it spectacularly. <laughs> looks to looks to have tried to drive it flat, but it came out more of the toe area than he would have liked and just skews wide for a goal kick. Yeah. quite hard when stuff like happens when it's nil nil you try and just get somewhere in the game free kick just comes out like that Celtic just getting ready for a substitution it oh we got some of our boys and that's Colby over there warming up so referee and the Celtic center backs having a discussion right now as the substitution is made. Who's warming up in the corner? Looks like Eric Graham over there. João Victor Tamburis warming up as well with Colby Williams. Well spotted Mark. Yeah. All in the corner. Celtic go long off the goal kick. One by Rosano. Been a bright spot since he's come on. Rubinho flicks towards Adelson. Adelson turns one. Finds himself in a bit of space here. Oh, Can he on. use his pace to get around him? Cleared Thank off you. Adelson. Out for a Celtic throw. But again, good ambition being shown from the Brazilian number 10. Yeah. Quick off his feet, that kid. Yeah, he's got a nice little turn of pace on him. Unfortunately, he hasn't been able to stretch his legs as much as I think he would have liked so far today, oh. but still a lot of time to go. Yeah. Long over the top. Babbage does really well not to commit the foul. Already infield for Lozano. Turns away from pressure. Back to the feet of Miguel again. Miguel cuts infield now. Has Rubinho slip behind. Was kicked. Wins the foul. Yeah. Really well good play there for Miguel Heredia. Does brilliantly to win the free kick. We'll have another look at that close control. So Lozano does well initially. Then Heredia cuts inside, beats one, rolls away from two. Yeah. Looks like the number 22 might have nicked him on the back of the heel there, yeah, yeah. causing the foul call. Referee agrees with our assessment of the situation. Will be a free kick for Almanyak. I think it's Delson to take this one after. Yeah, after so after Heredia's, yeah, let's yeah, Heredia. say, yeah. struggle of an attempt last time, Adelson over this. I'll be honest with you, Mark. I've trained with Adelson quite a bit. I think he's going for this. Yeah. I'm going to say he's going for this. He can hit free kicks with the very best of them. Nope, stands okay. it up towards the back post. McKee arriving at the back. Go played off. in field. Oh. Babbage arriving late. Wow, a slow developing play there. But turned into a great chance for Amanyaka. We'll have another look at it. Great ball has to be said for Mendelssohn there. Lined up like a shot. Chips it beautifully to a late arriving McKee. Gets a toe on it. Oh. it looks like Babbage may have missed it. Yeah. Don't know if he got that outstretched left boot on it. No, but that was a chance did. there for Amanyaka. Yeah, Almost yeah. out of nothing. Celtic underway now, going the other way. McKee to do some work on the other end. Ball swung into the area. Smith, Ooh. not too sure of his position there, forces Joaquin into a bit of work. Can Adelson keep it in play? He does so brilliantly, but he slips ah, on the unlucky. turf off the edge of the pitch, well, no. out for a throw. And really good ambition and initiative shown there from Adelson just to get on the end of it, but unfortunately couldn't keep his footing on the surface. Will this be his debut then today, Braden? So I don't. This for the under 23s. This is indeed Adelson's debut. I do believe he made one appearance for the CDAC senior side in a substitute role against Alan Dean, if I remember correctly. Yeah. In what was a three nothing win. I only remember because I played that game. Oh. So I do believe Adelson came on in a three nothing win against Alan Dean. So this is his under 23s debut, not his Almanyaka City debut in total. Ah, I see. So the statisticians, well, the statisticians working overtime in the back, but yeah, as yeah. you said, what do you think of Adelson's performance so far? Yeah, he's been good. I think he's been the only standout player today, to be honest. Um, Aaron's been good since he's come on, but we always expect that from that kid. He's good. Yeah, I think McKee has almost reasserted his authority in that starting position. Yeah. 
even after just a few minutes there with the lack of control we had in the midfield, moving Lozano up there has provided a bit more stability and putting McKee in the back just leads to a bit more confi confident feel throughout the team. Yeah. Brought down by that man. It does and plays in behind for Rubinho. Will he get the shot on goal? The volley from range. Oh, oh. flies just wide. Did the keeper get a touch on it? Looks like the keeper, keeper did, did get a get touch on it. Yeah. What a save from the Celtic keeper to keep the scores level at nil-nil. But great strike there from Sergio Rubinho. Let's see, in a, let's see it again. So high pressure from Rosano ultimately leads its way to Adelson. Adelson with a nice one-touch ball in behind. Rubinho with the volley from range. Great camera work there. And a flying stop from the Celtic keeper. The resulting corner taken short. Heredia now near the edge of the area. Tries to drive it into the box. Rosano should let this spin out for another corner. Does so wisely. Out again. Let's well done, boys. hold stations and do it again. Just got to keep this pressure up here. Keep going for it. Yeah, the first real spell of sustained Almanyeka pressure coming so far. Let alone this half, I'd say, for the game. This is the first real consistent time we've been in their half with chances to score. Yeah. See if McKee can find his way on the edge of the ball. Swung in. Away from Aaron, cleared by Celtic. Can Rubinho recollect as well? Hooked it back into the danger area, but none of the bl blue shirts stayed high, no. simply back towards the keeper. I don't think anyone was expecting that ball to come back into the area so quick. Yeah, Rubinho did well just to hook it over his own head, but I think it fooled some of his own players as yeah. well. Sent long by Celtic. Avalon jumps highest. Rosano wins the second header. Rubinho under pressure. Rosano goes oh down, hits the goal Jesus. on the side, but it looks like Rubinho took him down. He almost tripped over yeah. his own player there. We'll have another replay of it, but hopefully Rosano okay. Took a bit of a knock on the goal just off the pitch there. Yeah, yeah. it looks like he did hit Rubinho. Just and an unlucky oh, one, that one. Foot made that quite a bit of contact there with the post. He's only to come back from injury as well, so I hope he's okay. I think he's yeah, it looks, like he's, something it looks like he's ago. back up. He had a groin injury that's been nagging him for the past few weeks. And, of course, the CDAC under-23 side does not have the best luck with posts and kicking them. But Rosano back up and okay. So seems to have got off a little better. Babbage with defensive work to do. Hooks as far as Joaquin. Infield McKee with defensive work to do now. Now Lozano. Heredia goes down. Munoz gets us underway quickly. In behind for Rosano to chase, but referee stops play. It will be a booking for... Let's see which of the three Celtic players surrounding the referee will go into the book. It will be the one Once who is in. walking away. The most number angry two. looks like number two or 12. I think it's 12. He's got some tape oh, hanging it? off the back. Oh, Jesus. So oh, we've no. got a... I mean, maybe it's, maybe it's a half. Not too sure, but it looks like the number two that turned into number 12. Oh, yeah. We try to get underway again, I'm referee still, still, still stopping in. things, to properly put the number 12 slash 2 in the book. Yeah. <laughs> I've just realized that they've got different kits, kind of. Some have got white backs, some have got green. Yeah, so sometimes you see that with some of these clubs, second, third division of the regional leagues. The kits are shared. There's not too, too much funding. Yeah. So a lot of times some of these teams will share kits or use kits from last year. They try to keep them as consistent as possible. So you'll see different kits like that, all about what the Federation deems acceptable. Of course, these kits very much alike, so Federation says game on. A good defensive combination there from McKee and Lozano. Ultimately, they find the ball to Aveling, but his long ball looking for Rubinho out of play. For a throw-in. More substitutions on Number the horizon nine. for Almanyeker. Now Colby Williams getting stripped, looking ready to enter the fray pretty soon. The Celtic throw-in flicked on, cleared by Babbage. Out for a throw-in for the visitors. Throwing now down the line again. McKee will wisely just let that roll out. Looks like the substitution will come. No, not yet. Puyejos doesn't seem to want to make the change yet. Smith gets us going underway through Babbage. And then from Lozano. Tough ball for Munoz. Does well. McKee. Smith. Smith under pressure. Clipped ball. Looking for Aveling. Finds it right on his oh, first touch. Really nice ball oh there well from done. Smith. Mateo does well under pressure. Ooh. McKee needs to step quickly. Does so. But Celtic recollect in a dangerous area. 
putting some pressure in some hard Ball infields. Munoz can only shield it as far as the Celtic midfielder. Switch a play to the dangerous number 22. Gets the beating of Joaquin towards the touchline. Now cuts back, swings in with the left foot. Flicked Ooh. header just wide of Smith's far post. The goalkeeper was a spectator there. The flicked header just wide of the far post. And we'll see that substitution coming now. Colby Williams coming on. It's going to be Lozano coming off, it looks like. So for the number 29 for the number 6, Colby Williams, the American midfielder, makes way for the Spanish number 6. Jose Lozano is putting a good shift so far today. At 62 minutes, Colby Williams, fresh legs, enters the fray for the final half hour. Oh, he's number 29, not number 19. So the numbers, of course, coming from Juan Mobillejo. So if they are incorrect on the graphic, I promise you they're correct on the pitch. Doing the absolute best we can with what we're given. No team yeah. sheet sent before the game. We've got everyone up there that you need, though. Aveling takes a knock behind the ball there. Referee had whistled initially for advantage, but blows it back for the foul. Mateo in a bit of discomfort there, but quickly back up onto his feet. He's a tough kid. Looks ready to continue. McKee over the free kick now. Drives it low into the feet of Heredia. Great touch from the Spaniard. Looks to play over the top of Rosano. Ooh. Intercepted. Defender had to make that head of them. Aveling marshals back from McKee, who chips into the channel. Headed clear only as far as Colby Williams. His first touch, a nice pass to Rosano. Second touch, an even oh better pass to Adelson. Adelson goes down. On, Penalty shouts. Referee keeps the whistle by his side. Nothing doing. I tell I you what, yeah. looks like it could have been a penalty yeah, there. Now Rosano goes down to throw in for Celtic. Do we have a replay queued up of that? Yes, Looked we like do. a dangerous moment there, a controversial moment to say the least. Adelson may have been taken down from behind in the area. Great play from Colby Williams. I don't know. Maybe Doesn't look so. like it got a lot of his legs there. Adelson seems to go down easily. No protest from the Brazilian himself. So maybe clean play. Now scrapping in the midfield. And the chance for Celtic to get behind here. The number 22 is in. Smith needs to stand big. Ooh. What a hand that is, Will well Smith. Done. Alvin Yecker players protesting for a foul before it got to him. But Smith makes a brilliant save. Stands big. Preserves the game at nil-nil right now. Save for the Australian. We'll have another look at it. Scrappy in the midfield. Babbage had gone down. Celtic player did well to keep control. Played in behind Joaquin, who was caught napping. The 22 came in. Oh, well done, Will. Strike. Good, strong right hand from Will Smith. Corner now for Almanyeka to deal with. Looks to be an in-swinger. Smith needs to be alert again. On his toes there. Almost touching the crossbar. Swung in field. Smith quickly punches off his line. Cleared only as far as the Celtic number 15. Back to the corner taker. He'll lump into the right box again. Hand. Smith stays at home this time. Ball bounced in the area. Danger here for Almanyakar. Joaquin does well to marshal it towards the side. Goes down and ultimately earns a free kick. But nervy moments again for Almanyakar. Celtic players not happy there. Yeah, a few of the Celtic players not happy with the decision. Two more substitutions coming stop. now for Alman Yekar. Who is he calling off? Referee allows for the substitutions. So it looks like Joe Babbage is coming off. A bit of an interesting one. And Adelson coming off. So two of the better players for Alman Yekar right now making way. It looks like coming on will be João Victor Tamburas. Coming on the striker. Not sure where he will go. Maybe on the wing. And Eric Graham, the center back. So Eric will just drop into that natural left center back role, as he always does. And it looks like Zhao will pop in straight up top. Bouye opting for a bit more height there. So that is Zhao on for Adelson. So like for like compatriot-wise, Brazilian for Brazilian. And then Eric Graham comes on for Joe Babbage, an American replacing an Englishman. Rosano with the ball in space. Cuts it back from Munoz. Munoz, lovely little outside of the foot. Switch of play to Heredia. Isolated against two. Cuts in field for Rafa. Chips over the top for Joaquin. The wind just drives that ball in field. Almost to Joaquin's advantage. Picked up by Rubinho. Here's Joaquin now. Dangerous spot. Only cleared as far as Graham. Graham has to be careful here with pressure on. Tries to put it into the area, but under hit. McKee reconnects near the midfield line. Celtic coach imploring his players to suppress out a little bit. Force this Almanyaka side back. McKee dips inside. One, two. Has to be careful now. This is Gossman. Does well just to usher it back to.
Will takes a touch, looks to go long here. Does so, but shanks it into the Rio Verde. No, it stays just in play. I was about to tell Mark to get up the balls, <laughs> hit into the river counter again. Oh, yeah. This one just stayed in play on the edge of the fence. I think we got about four or five, didn't we, on that day? Flex header by Zhao. Recollected now. Could be a two versus one if he can get there. 50 50 challenge ultimately out for which way do the referees decide? A Celtic throw in. Zhao disagrees with that call, but Zhao, one of his first few games back from that five match ban that he suffered earlier in the season. Yeah. It's been a welcome re addition for Bullejos' side, especially a striker of his stature, provides any number of aerial, offensive, and defensive threats. But Graham commits a foul, the classic foul, hands in the back. Yep. Those inexperienced defenders that aren't from Spain just don't really know how to defend without it. But free kick coming for Celtic now. Dangerous position again. Celtic over the ball. Whistle goes chipped over. Well done by Joaquin there to defend away. Still in the danger area. Smith off his line. Does a flying punch. Takes a knock for his trouble. But out for a throw. Smith looks a bit hesitant off his line there. Out for a throw. What do you do now? Looks like a long throw in coming. Into the area, McKee takes a knock, flicked on into the danger area. The number 19, he goes for the bicycle kick now. Smith recollects under no pressure, has Rosano long. Can he find him? Drives the ball. Not exactly what he wanted, but it works into the feet of Zhao. Zhao looks to play to Rosano. Rosano's first touch lets him down, out for a throw-in. And so good look for Will Smith there, trying to go long. Ultimately not, didn't hit exactly the ball he wanted to. But he made it work, and Mark, we do need to get the counter out now, as Celtic oh. had put one into the Rio Verde. There we go. I'm just uh, charging the ball here. So the stats are coming out now. Matteo Aveling throws long for Zhao. Flicked down by Rosano, recollected by Zhao. He presses on. Has Heredia in space. Been really good so far coming on Zhao. Now Miguel. Miguel drives to the left, takes one, takes two, chip towards the back post. Just too far away okay. from an arriving Rubinho, but positive signs shown since the introduction of the Brazilian Zhao. There's that cross from Heredia just too far for Rubinho, but really good football being shown now from Amanyakar. They're improving. Base goalkeeper tiring a little bit. That long ball shanked out for it. Almanyeka throwing. Didn't even make it to midfield. Flicked header from Zhao looking for Rosano. Cleared out. Aveling wisely lets it bounce. Doesn't try to bring the ball down from the sky. Lets it bounce out for a throw in. Flicked on again by Zhao. Rosano now. Zhao wins the next header. Referee whistles for a foul. Looks like just a bit overzealous with his hands was the Brazilian chance for Celtic to clear their lines. Great little switch of play there towards the near side. Danger man number 22 brings it down but loses out to Joaquin. Left back out of position now. Ball chipped in behind Eric Graham. The 22 is in here. Squares it to the center. Great ball retreating gone. defending by McKee. Back into the middle. Aveling takes a knock. Down he goes. Free kick. Really good last ditch defending from a combination of McKee and Aveling there. But the left side of the defense has been weak so far. Joaquin and Graham repeatedly being taken advantage of. Took only a really good challenge by McKee and a really brave play by Aveling there to st stymie the attack. As Heredia drives forward, tries to play with the long ball with the outside of his foot, only out for a Celtic throw. And a really good play there from Aaron McKee coming across. That was dangerous. Yeah. So, Braden, what do you think the players that are coming onto the pitch now need to do to get some goals in that back of the net? <laughs> so far, from what I've seen from the substitutes, Zhao Victor has been fantastic up yeah. top so far. He's won every header that's asked of him. And I think you may have to get a bit archaic with the football style now. I think yeah. you may need to look long, try to pump it to the big man, win a few flicked headers in behind. This defense doesn't look to be the quickest. Nope. Maybe get Rabinho in behind, Rosano especially with the pace like that. I think you might need to go a bit of route one here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just gonna pump it to the big man. 
around 26 up front. We know they'll stick up the left-hand side. I think he's the tallest player on the pitch now as well. It looks so to be. I know Will Smith's got a bit of height and goal. McKee a bit at center back as well. But let's see if Zhao's got a bit of pace on him. Does well to continue the high press. Ball out for an Almanecker throw in. But Rosano just can't get it under his spell to take it quickly with space in behind. It'll be Aveling instead. He throws big down the line looking for Rabinho. The former Motril striker squares into the area, but no Almanecker player within the vicinity of the box. Easily into the hands of the keeper who stays down a little bit. Might be getting to that time where Celtic look to sit a few more players behind the ball and see this one out. Yeah. I think uh, a draw for them. Go back to a draw for us. Absolutely. Couldn't have said it better myself, especially with Almanecker still pressing for promotion. Three points here is a must. Yeah. And for Celtic... Fighting against relegation, one point on the road against the top three team in the league, be a huge get. Yeah. Oh, celebrations up there. Already a chips long looking for Rabinho, but behind the play, Rafia stays down, holding what looks to be his ankle right now. Maybe his boot came off. Looks like it does. He's back to his feet. Seems to be okay. Keeper goes long, but he sh missed it short. Colby Williams quickly pounces, oh, being pulled back, tries to play in behind. Ultimately wins the foul. Really good anticipation and reading of the game there from Colby Williams. Does well, even better to earn the foul. But the keeper starting to tire now. It's the second consecutive distribution that's gone poorly. There you see the tail end of the foul on Williams. But now a chance for the center backs to come forward for Almanyeker to see if they can get that all-important goal. McKee and Graham trot towards the edge of the area. Who's over? It looks like it's going to be Heredia over this free kick. Troy Delson on the bench is extremely jealous. He would look like he'd want to be <laughs> taking this one. He was on the pitch right now, but Heredia more than capable of putting any this ball anywhere he wants. Yeah. He's just got such a good way of uh, getting pace on the ball. Really does. So Heredia over it. Rosano going short. He seems to be in space. He oh. plays Rosano. Training ground move. Rosano with the Ooh. strike. Oh, numbers in the box. Not sure if that was the best thing to do. Shot went flying over the net, but oh, let's have another look at that really good training ground routine there. We called it with Rosano in space there. Just the Celtic players caught napping the shot. Made it bobbled up in front of him. Numbers in the box. Tough one all around for the winger from Switzerland. Ball goes long into the midfield. The keeper gets it right this time. Joaquin looks to put it into the channel. Maybe saw the keeper off his line. Not too sure what he was going through his mind there, but out for a Celtic throw in as we tick into the 75th minute. Just keep going for the ball to be up early. Just going up. Now a chance for Celtic to break. Looks like the 19 has just drifted offside. Oh you can see the flag yeah, up in our periphery there. Referee still not seeing, still not acknowledging the linesman whose flag clearly has been up. But he seems intent to let it go on now as Heredia has it on the near side. Turns away from one, gets takes a kick, ultimately wins the foul. <laughs> Number 10 not too happy about getting turned away from. Heredia gets his back underway through Joaquin. Great line kept there by Joaquin, has to be said. He was off sides even though the referee didn't stop play. We saw the linesman flag up. Now a chance for Rosano in a bit of space. Jao Williams and Rubinho in the box. Rosano cuts inside, will have a shot, cuts back to the right, away from goal. Got to swing it into the area now. Shirley must deliver. Cuts in. It's Colby Williams on the oh, slide. Oh! oh it's so inches close. wide of the far post. Colby Williams a whisker great away play. from making the breakthrough. But great play from Almanyeka there. Best chance of the match so far. Mark, let me know what you saw. Let's have a look. So, it's a good bit of skill there by Rosano. He's always got those quick feet. Uh, I just don't think he can put it in with the shot when he's left. So, he goes back down with his right. Colby, so close, man. I think we might see a goal from Colby, to be fair. So close for the younger of the Williams brother. Of course, his older brother right now taking part in the FCMC Senior Clash against Mara Sena. We'll try to get a score update of that for you. Actually, I'll go try to get a score update of that right now if I can. Yep. We'll leave you in the capable hands of Mark Bridal for the next few seconds while I go on an errand. Solid at the right back row. He's not getting 
And Marie McKenzie, keep working hard on Nessie, you can do this, yeah, on the right, it's good to see you Marie, hope you're okay. And Nessie starts from round about, and with the long ball, Paul Williams is going from the right, trying to get the ball into his arm now. So far, not going too, too well for FCMC. As far as we know right now, they are down 1-0 at halftime against Marisena on the road. So still 45 minutes to turn it around. But we'll keep our eyes on that as Celtic win a throw-in. But we can't control that game. All we can control right now is what's in front of us. And that is 13 minutes for Almanyaka to find a winner here. If you'd have to make a prediction, Mark, who do you think is going to get on the score sheet, if anyone, today for Almanyaka? Uh, I'm thinking I'm thinking maybe Cole, Cole, uh, Colby. Because uh, he's just got the tall shoulders. He's just the arms on the tall shoulders. He's got a nice little shot from outside the box. Oh, I don't know. He's, he always comes on and plays really well. He might get an assist. My guess, could be, could if, be, if, if I see a score, I see Luca Rosano. Yeah. I see Rosano pulling out a moment of magic. Relatively dull game so far. Not too many chances. Uh, chances at a premium, we'll say, for both sides. Yeah. I feel like I could see a Rosano moment of magic there, giving us the three points. But yeah, Munoz yeah. dwells on it a bit too long. Defensive work now for Almanyeker to do. Switch into the channel. Really good work from Mateo Aveling to get behind the ball there. Mateo Let's see if he can defend away Mark. against the number 12. He goes down, but oh. Aveling sticks doggedly to his task there. Clears out for a Celtic throwing. Really good for Mateo Aveling. It's a really good team, this team. I like all the players on this team. They're all good guys. Oh, one of the Celtic players have just gone down. I'm not too sure what's happened there. Maybe a bit cramped. We'll see. We'll see where he ends up grabbing. We've got the close cam on him right now. And while we see the player down and that close camera, it's time to shout out the lovely camera people that we have up today. Dueling Ellie's. Ellie squared. Ellie one, Ellie two. Thing one, thing two. Ellie Brett and Ellie Hicks on the camera tonight. Ellie Brett on the close cam. So all those replays that you see are courtesy of the veteran of Cheers Mate Productions, Ellie Brett. And of course, the new blood herself, Ellie Hicks on the wide shot, just doing the point and shoot as she always does so well. I'm sure she'll get into the close cam soon with them two doing a lovely job up on the scaffold today in the wind. And of course, you know the producer next to me, Mark Prado, who's joining me for comms. So swung into the area from Celtic, headed with clear by Colby Williams. Luca Rosano with a bit of room to stretch his legs. Hitch takes him too far infield yeah. out for an Almanyaka throw in. You've got to introduce yourself as well, Braden. Ah, uh, no, man, the commentators Braden never introduce Miller. themselves. Yeah, well, I'll, if uh, you're not going to do it, I'll do it for you. The man, the myth, he's been here the whole time since August with me. He's been helping me out. Honestly, can't get better than this guy. He can do comms, he can do camera, and he's a naughty keeper. Much appreciated. Oh, James Dawes, Marcina 1, Malaga City 1. Yes, Dawesy, head of media, is good to see you on the chat, and it's 1 0 with Malaga. So cool the boys. great news coming in from Dawes there. I believe he may be at the match there. But Rosano with a chance to make it one nothing here. Tries to go for the flick around There's the defender. A Wins a free kick off a handball. So big chance for Almanyaka here to find a goal. Great, even better news in uh, coming out of Marisana right now. The 1-1 so far. I'm not too sure if that was a handball. It looks like a handball. Let's just yeah. see the arm trailing away. Don't fit for anything else. So. Yeah, so it looks like a free kick coming for Alman Yekar. So 1-1 one, one in Marisena as well. And that game kicked off at 12. So similar time scales, yeah. of course. So that should be heading towards a conclusion similar to this right now. But what we've got in front of us is a huge chance for Alman Yekar to find the break clear. Yeah, 10 minutes left. Come on, boys. Let's see if we can get goal of it. Over the ball this time, Munoz. Rosano stays away, it looks like. But especially this is where the height of Zhao could really come into play. I think Josh Khan might be coming on as well. Yeah, looks like Khan may re-enter the fray in a bit. Rosano and Munoz over it. Can McKee maybe get his head on this? Eric Graham has his hand up at the back post asking for it. Let's see what Munoz decides. Rosano walks away, Aaron. swung in towards the, Ooh, keeper. Straight into the keeper. Straight into the hands of the goalkeeper. Really not troubling him there. Kelsio Santos, vamos al Manyekar. That chance goes begging for the home side as the Celtic keeper clears quite a ways up the pitch. 
McKee never taking his freedom, wins the header. Colby Williams now in space on the right. If he can keep it in, just runs too far, but it's an Almanacker throw in. So if Dozzy, if you've got any more updates on anything, give us a shout. Good to hear from you. Our head of media, Mr. James Dawes. Yeah, please let us know. Of course, our eyes are peeled to the screens right now that we've got in front of us looking for the results of the senior team as they continue their promotion push. Of course, as we mentioned before, in the first half, two more games coming your way live today on the FC Malaga City YouTube channel. We've got yep. the Femininos at 5 o'clock Spanish time, their first match in the playoffs against Antequera. A team that we do have a bit of history with. Beat them in the playoffs last year, 2-1. to one, But that'll always be a tough test. And then the top of the table clash for the CDAC seniors tonight against Shuriana. So the local rivals come to town at Francisco Bonnet. What's sure to be a spectacular game under the lights. But more importantly right now is finding this winning goal here at Campo Municipal Rio Verde. Yeah, it's going to be some good games today. Hopefully the Feminino can pull through and go for Taylor Hattrick. Yeah, got an absolutely super Sunday lineup now, but Joaquin with defensive work to do. Taylor hat trick and the Hugo hat trick. That'd yeah. be perfect today. Tell you what, that would be ideal. If you told me that I could sign up for that this morning, I would have done it without a moment's of hesitation. <laughs> Looks like after some battling in the corner, Celtic do win a throw into a chance for the away side to put some players in the box now. As you've seen, they have the long throw, and it's troubled us in a few occasions. Yeah. Corners are 6-3, to three, although this is a throw-in. So oh flicked it. on at the oh. near post. It's bouncing in the area. The sh drives it to the wide. The shot for number Ooh. 34 blocked off the line. Well Celtic done. player screaming for a handball. Zhao holds it up for Colby Williams. He gets a touch in behind out for a Celtic throw -in, But danger there for Alman Yecker. Seems to get away with it. Referee gesticulating that the arm was next to the body. We'll have another look at it. It was a throw-in. Sorry, guys. So it's that will be throw-in. The header three. was flicked on. It was just chaos in the box. Ball bouncing every which way. A whole tangle of arm and legs. Looks like they were petitioning for a handball on McKee there. Yeah. Number 23 seemed to have been caught with his arm just a bit exposed. But the referee said it was close enough to his body. And on back on comes Josh Kahn, the number 11. So he's coming in. It looks like it left back. If I can tell correctly, it looks like Joaquin has made way. Kahn comes in yeah. at left back. So not sure whether he's coming in slotting in at left back or he's going to play more attacking. But Celtic in behind here. Tried to square it to the middle, but ultimately an offside was the decision. I think maybe they're going for three at the back. Could and be Josh is going to be like a left wing back, maybe. Yeah, maybe a three at the back. Khan could push up higher. We'll see what Bu we'll try to listen to Bouyeho, see what tactical yeah, advice yeah. he gives now. But I'm sure he will have given Khan the instruction. But the long ball from Smith intercepted easily. In behind now, Aveling with work to do. Smith comes flying off his line, does well to claim just into the corner of his area. Gets his going back and away quickly through Rosano. Rosano flicked over the top for Williams. Colby does well, Colby. sheds the tackle, wins the header, but Zhao can't come up with the second ball. Rosano presses high, does really well. Great play there from Luca Rosano to win the ball back. Celtic managed to get on it clear only as far as that man Rosano again. This time they clear further up the pitch despite the best efforts of Luca. Celtic break is two versus two here. Good defending from Eric Graham to head the first one clear. Brought down by the dangerous number 22. McKee out of his center back roll to clear. Recollected by Heredia. Khan has Rubinho in behind. His long ball intercepted. Yeah, we've seen Heredia quite a bit more further up the pitch the second half. Let's see if he can get a naughty shot on from the right, get a cross on or something. Yeah, you'd back Heredia there if he finds a shot from 18, 25 yeah, yards yeah. to really put it in top corner. But now Zhao Victor in the corner has Khan on the cutback, does a lazy little step over, swings it into the area. Ooh. Cleared, avoids Heredia on the clearance. Back to Celtic, who I'm surely will go long. Up the pitch, over the head of Eric Graham, but well marshaled by McKee, back to Smith. The position of Aaron is just always, he's kind of like he just knows where the ball's going to go before it's even been hit. It's a very good way to put it, Mark. He just, he just always seems to be in the right spot. You never have to tell him too much on the pitch. He just always finds the right area to be. 100%, man. Throwing for Aaron Yecker on the far side. Long ball intended for Rubinho, cut out long over the top. Linesman right on it, puts offside. the flag up for offsides. This time the center ref does acknowledge it. Free kick for Aaron Yecker. We'll have another look at that offsides decision as we get back underway quickly through the feet of Smith. Yeah, I think he was coming Looks offside. Looks to be a step offsides there. Great line kept by McKee and Graham. Long over the top looking for Zhao. Goes all the way back to the chest of the keeper. The Brazilian will continue the press, but the keeper claims. Love those goggles. If you ever get a pair, I'd trade them. 
Well, considering I had glasses for quite a few years of my life, I did have what you call in the U.S. the Rex Specs. Oh, yeah. So I did have a few pairs in goal nice. as Aveling is whistled for a foul in the corner as the number 22 looked to break. So defensive stations needed to need to be manned here for Almanyaka. We'll have another look. Oh, the has been given a yellow. 22 has been dangerous all game. This time gets the wrong side of Aveling who takes him down. Luca Rosano goes into the book for his protest of that decision from the center referee. But more importantly now, a free kick chance coming for Celtic. Tell you what, it's a dangerous position. It really is. Like on this pitch, even at under twenty, uh, under twenty threes or the other team, it always seems to be last minute goals. Like on this pitch, Rio Verde is famous, notorious for last minute winners. So it's got a bit of mystique about it. Does the pitch for that last minute goal? Hopefully, yeah. it does not come at our expense today. But Celtic committing players forward here. Only two back defending. Everyone else up ahead of the ball. Number 29 wants to go one of the substitutes. He's massive. Taller than Zhao. Played short. The number 22 from range. Square towards the area. Oh, he oh. hit the bar and the post at the same time. Oh. oh, my goodness. He recollects now. The shot into the area. Screaming for a handball. And it's a, oh, penalty, it's a penalty for Celtic. No. A handball whistled on Eric Graham. Oh, no. Disaster for Almanyeka here. Will Smith has to come up with something right now, but a penalty given to Celtic, and in the 88th minute, the oh, away the side with a chance curse. to nick an unlikely goal. We'll see if we can have another look. We may wait till after the goal. Yeah. I think the replay's been created, but we don't want to miss the penalty right now. Yeah, we'll come back to it just after the goal yeah. or no goal. So, here it is. This is the moment you dream about as a keeper. A nil nil chance to keep your team in the game right now. Let's see if Smith can stand up. I'll tell you what, he's got a knack for saving penalties. Yeah. Let's see what he can do. What a first game back this would be for the Australian if he pulls this one out. Steps up, and he yes! saves it! The rebound what? comes in, and it's oh. in! Oh! oh. Brutal! That is brutal. brutal. There are no words. There are no words. That might be the worst feeling in the world oh. as a keeper. It's unlucky, though. He made the save. Hard wow. Wow. So we've got a lot to unpack right now. Back to the replay tab. We'll see the we'll see the penalty first, I think. Yeah. Number ah, 28 has stepped up. A poor penalty has to be said. Smith did enough to save it, Just but could only get yeah. a bottom hand to it, not enough to take it out of his path, and he makes no mistake on the follow-up. Showed good restraint there. Uh, has to be, uh, you can't really knock the players. No one followed it in, though. And here's the chance off the initial free kick given yeah. away by Aveling. So they played it short, and the shot came in. Hit the bar and then down onto the post. So it was a let off initially. Now we can see the penalty decision. I don't know. Tough one to call there. It looks like the arm could have been away from the body a little yeah. bit. Celtic is doing anything they can to waste time now. Don't blame them. But the honest. penalty was given. Now Celtic, of course, will pack every man behind the ball, do the proper gamesmanship that they need to. One of the dark arts of football, but a darker, but an art nonetheless. Yeah. Smith's long ball can't beat the first man. He seems to be lagging a little bit now. Does the Australian keeper chance for Celtic to go in behind? Oh, Cut well out by Avalon. Chipped that. over the top. McKee's in a bit of space here. Can he get on the end of it? Aaron brings it down, but the flag is up oh on the far side as Eric Graham broke into the area. Oh, it's just tough to watch right now. Long ball over the top. Looks like McKee may have yeah, drifted a was. bit off sides there. Referee collect. Referee correcting his decision to raise the flag. Just checking Free his kick watch. now for Celtic. I don't know if there's going to be much time left. He's checking his watch. Into added time now as we tick in. We've ticked past the 90 minute mark, yeah, actually, yeah. into the 91st. Can't be too, too long left. Long ball over the top. McKee free now to win the header. Tries to clear up towards Colby Williams. Flicked out of throw in coming for Luca Rosano. Plays infield to Colby Williams. Williams tries to return it to Le Rosano, but too far. Had numbers on the opposite side, but Williams hadn't picked his head up to turn. Final few boys. minutes now. There must be as one of the Celtic players down behind the ball, of course, with an injury. But you know what? You, this can frustrate you, these these things that the Celtic players do or the opposition players do. But really, in that situation, would you do any different? No, exactly. It's that, that's when it's annoying is because you know you do it yourself, but when it's happening to you, 
<laughs> one of the worst <laughs> feelings in the world, but it, it's wise. It's one of those things you need to learn playing senior football. Some yeah. of these results are huge, especially for a team like Celtic fighting against relegation. Three points here would be something that they never would have had circled on their calendar, so they'll do yeah. everything they can to get those three. 100%. I think uh, we've, we've not helped ourselves over this game. Um, not been 100% constantly of which. I know Boye will have wanted from his team. Not too, too many clear-cut chances as well. No. Eric Graham brings down well under a bit of pressure. Back to Smith, but the play needs to go up to the other end of the pitch right now. Yeah. Munoz has room to Hot drive in midfield. Over. Let's oh see what Rafa up. can do. Rafa plays short to Khan. He's got to get into the box soon. Khan drives forward, looks to commit a defender, That's taken a down from behind. That's Referee foul. says play on. No foul given. And with oh that, puts the whistle what? in his mouth. And that is all she wrote here in Almanyekar. A crushing loss for the CDAC under 23 side. Yeah. As despite being the better side for most of the game, concede an 89th minute penalty and go on to lose 1 0. A hard fought three points for Celtic. But questions have to be asked of the CD Almanyekar side. A game that they should not be losing at home against the relegation embattled side. But that's football, Mark. That's yep. football. Sometimes it's the, the best thing in your life, and sometimes there's days like today. Yep. But still plenty of time to write the ship today for the FCMC Academy and the CDAC sides as well. Please tune in for the FCMC Feminino game today at 5 o'clock. That will be on the FC Malaga City YouTube channel. And then after that, the big one tonight, the top of the table class, the CD Almanyaker seniors take on Chiriana de la Vega in what is sure to be an absolutely titanic battle at Estadio Francisco Bonet. So, for all of you tuning in today, we thank you so, so much for watching. We'd love to have you here with us. Thanks for tuning in. From, from myself, Brayden Miller, and for Mark Bridal next to me, we shall see you soon. Good night. Take it easy, guys.